It's a, it's a weird thing because I always hear people saying like, oh, yeah, I don't like sports. You know what I'm saying? And people always compare it to like, oh, yeah. Um, people complain about, you know, YouTubers playing video games all day. And uh, no, like you watching YouTubers play video games, but you watch sports. It's <clears throat> it's very different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's very different. Now, I'm going to be honest. If you want to watch Jacksepticeye uh, playing Among Us or whatever, sure. Yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Um, but I'm not gonna fault you for anything. You can do whatever you want, but it's not the same as sports at all. You know what I'm saying? Because people, it's it's interesting because people just hear like the people that don't know anything about sports when they watch something like soccer, they're like, oh, okay, it's the same game over and over again. It's just people kicking a ball and, and making a goal and stuff. But you don't understand how much it's a billion dollar industry. It's a billion dollar industry, you know what I'm saying? Like guys like fucking Cristiano Ronaldo, LeBron James, and who else? Lionel Messi are making fucking millions of, hundreds of millions of dollars off of it. And it's not just because of that. It's so, like being a fan of a team is so, you know, it's so much different from being a fan of a YouTuber. Because for a YouTuber, you watch them for their personality, you know what I'm saying? Like when you watch PewDiePie play Minecraft, like, he's not the greatest. He's not the best at Minecraft. But it's PewDiePie, and his personality is good. So you want to watch him play video games. Same with KSI. Same with Sky Does Minecraft when he used to play Minecraft back in the day. And, T and Dan, TDM, and whoever else. But in terms of sports, sure, personalities do matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, and Jason Tatum because they're, they're really good people. And they do a lot for the community of Boston. But it's all, the, but but a lot of it is the game as well. You know, what I'm saying how how they play, and sure you might see it as okay, it's just a ball going through a hoop. But there's so much that goes into it. You know, what I'm saying like their play styles. You know, what I'm saying when you watch a team like the, like the, like the Dallas Mavericks from last year, and you compare it to a team like, uh, if you compare the Dallas Mavericks of last year to a team like the Orlando Magic from last year. They play completely different. Like the Golden State Warriors back in 2018 are so much different from the, you know, 2013 Miami Heat. The way they play, the three-pointers, all of that stuff, the ball movement. is so much. There's so many intricacies that go into to watching and being a fan of a sport. You know what I'm saying? And it's sure you can say that it's the same game all over again. But it's not, but it, it is, but it isn't because it is, I guess. Yes, it's it's the same game, you can say. Like, it's the same rules. Sure, there's some rule changes, but you can also, you, you have to also understand that, you know, injuries play a role, player movement play a role, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, in the case of, in the case of, you know, football and soccer, I mean, in, in soccer, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I'm not, I'm not the biggest uh, you know, fan of soccer, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, if you're like a Paris Saint-Germain, a PSG fan, right? And then you have, you know, you have your squad and then in a couple, in the span of a couple of years, you get Mbappe and you get Neymar Jr. And it's completely changed, you know what I'm saying? Like they're a really good team now. And Barcelona is something like that because they were, they had a lot of fucking players back in the day, and uh, you know Real Madrid and Juventus are like that as well. You know what I'm saying? Like Juventus, after they got Ronaldo, they definitely got better because he's one of the best players in the fucking sport. So you know all of that stuff is so interesting. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that here's the beautiful thing about sports: if you're in an in an arena and you're next to you know let's say you're in the TD Garden, right? The the Boston Celtics arena. And then, you know, the Boston Celtics uh, win the game or they, they, they make a buzzer beater or something. And it's really it's a very tense game and you win it. It makes you want to hug or, you know, give a high five to the people next to you, even though you don't know them. Because that's what the beauty of sports is. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it connects people. It connects people to a, in a way that not a lot of things do. That's why it's a billion dollar industry. You know what I'm saying? And it's. It's great, you know what I'm saying? Like, people say, oh, my God. Like, you know, sports, you know, athletes should get paid however much they get paid, you know what I'm saying? Because the amount of stuff that they have to go through, you know what I'm saying? Injuries, uh, constant pain, you know what I'm saying? The fact that you have to follow a certain diet for a long time, you know what I'm saying? Like, a guy like LeBron, sure, you know, he only play, he don't he doesn't play 365 days a year. 
but he has to keep a diet, you know what I'm saying? Like, he never has, like, a... He can never get, like, fat or anything, or if he does, it's going to hurt his game, especially at, at his older age, you know what I'm saying? And it's 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 great. This is good. Sports are great.